Good evening and welcome to part four. We've now simmered the chicken in the Malaysian curry sauce for 15 minutes and we've just allowed it to thicken slightly, okay? And now I'm just going to add the potatoes or the totties as I might say. There we go. So, there we go. Uh, just mix that round, covering all the totties in this curry sauce. It, it, it smells so nice. I, I think it's actually the most pleasant smell I've smelt in a while. Okay, so that's all the potatoes cooked and I'm going to add a wee um, extra taste of spring onions, okay, just add them in. I've got four spring onions in there and I've left a, a little amount over just to garnish um, your uh, plate there with um, a little bit of spring onions and chilli. There we go. So that looks just perfect. I'm going to take this over, I'm going to leave that actually for a wee second while I serve up the rice. The rice has been cooked in the microwave. Now, I don't know if you are a microwave person, but I really do like cooking rice in the microwave because every time it's perfect. I know that um, also when you cook rice in on the uh, hob, it's it, it can be funny. I don't know what it is about it, but can't seem to do it sometimes. Sometimes it's perfect and sometimes it's not so perfect. But um, microwave and it's, I'll, I'll just tell you, it's um, for every cup of rice you put two cups of water in and it's one cup per two persons. So that's the um, the trick, and you put it on for twenty minutes, and that's you. You're away. You're you're flying in the air. So here we go. Right, we're going to add this on now. Okay. Now, would you just look at that? I, I can't describe how gorgeous this smells. It smells so nice that I just want to stuff it all down my gob with a little. I love, I love putting things on top of rice as well. I think that's enough for just now. We'll keep that for later. Always remember to turn the heat off. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you back for the next episode of Hazel's Cookery Programme.